Alright, this video is just speaking about Jesus in the Talmud. Um, not the things that the rabbis said about Jesus in the Talmud, rather the amount of things that Jesus is actually quoted as saying in the Talmud. And this is a rather interesting uh, situation because obviously it's well known that um, you know the most of the rabbis will tell the Jewish people not to study the Gospels, not to study the Bible. Why is this? Because let's just see the amount of times in this article from Jews for Jesus that uh, Jesus is actually quoted by other rabbis. For example, here in Matthew 7 2, the measure you give will be measured unto you, or the measure you get. And uh, this is quoted in the Sanhedrin, uh, sorry, the Talmud. And this is the section in the Talmud that is that is quoted in. Um, rather an interesting read. I'll leave the link below, but let's just uh, read through a few of them. Matthew five seven. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. This is from the third century, um, the Talmud. Okay. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Uh, this is from. 338 AD Why do you um, see the speck that is in your brother's eye but not notice the beam that is in your own eye? And this in the Talmud, this is uh, from about the 2nd, 3rd century there. Do not be anxious saying what shall we eat, what shall we drink? This is from the 2nd century in the Talmud. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Matthew 9.37, and uh, you see here in the Talmud, it's written in uh, the second century AD. Freely you receive, freely give. And there you go. The rabbi, the part of the Talmud in uh, the third century. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. Um, there you go, it's in the 3rd century AD. Blessed are those that are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Again, it's in the Talmud here. And finally, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And this has been extrapolated, um, plagiarized by... Jonathan Ben Joseph um, there we go the first century AD and so quite amazing I don't think it's the parallels we should be speaking about here this is obviously plagiarism in the rabbi's part actually stealing from the Gospels and then telling the Jewish people not to read the Gospels and so this is a very I know that the Jews for Jesus hand, handle this differently, but this is uh, this is just plagiarism. I'm, I'm I'm sure there's other examples, a lot of other examples, but uh, very interesting article.